Hi, good morning. I am teacher Azon and our lesson for today is about fractions based on Montessori method. Uh, this is an effective way of teaching the concept of fractions to younger children. Uh, this is very easy to make at home. All you have to do is uh, cut out circles out of colored plastic dividers. You can also use uh, fabric and uh, stitch. If you use fabric, you have to stitch all the edges. Uh, for younger kids, you may start from one half to one third and uh, up to one fourth. And then as the child started to figure out the concept, you may work all the way up to one tenth. So for this activity, I prepared up to one six. Okay, so now let's start. I have here a bowl wherein you can keep all these things. We're not we're not in use. The the child can also keep keep all these things in, in a bowl. Okay, so let's start. So this is one hole. Let's assume that this is a one hole pizza. So this is one hole. Let's keep it there. Next is let's find one half. So this is one half. So this is one over two. The number below indicates that we need two pieces of halves to make a one hole. So here's another one half. So one, two. Two pieces of one half joined together will now become one whole. So as you can see, they are now the same. So let's keep it here and let's proceed to the next, which is one third. As you can see, this is one over three. This is one third. This means that we need three pieces of one third to make for a whole. Here is the second. And here's the third. So let's count. This is one, two, three. So we need. These are now three pieces of one third. So one, two, three. If you join together, this will now become a one whole. So let's put it here beside one half. So take a review. This is one whole. This is two pieces of one half and makes a whole. And this is three pieces of one third. If we join together, it becomes one whole. Then let's find the next. This is what? This is one fourth. One over four. This is one fourth. So the number below is four, meaning we need four pieces of one fourth to make a one whole. Two, this is three and four. So that is now a whole. So again, one, two, three, four. And that makes a one whole. So let's put this aside and we can now proceed with the next. This is one fifth. This is one over five, meaning it's one fifth. So we need five pieces of one fifth to make a whole pizza. Three. This is four and five. So we have Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. 
So five pieces of one fifth, if we join together, will now make a one whole. Okay. So let's set this aside. And last is we have one six. One six. So we need six pieces of one sixth. There you are. So let's count how many pieces is this. This is one sixth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one sixth will become one whole if we join together. So that's it. So it's now a one whole. And they are all now the same. They are no all one whole. So let's review. So this is one whole. This is one half. Two pieces of one half is one whole. And this is one third. Three pieces of one third becomes one whole. This is one fourth. And we have four pieces of one fourth is one whole. And this one is one fifth. If we join five pieces of one fifth, will become one whole. Uh, and the last is one sixth. This is one sixth. If we join together, the six pieces of one sixth will become a one whole. Yes, so that's it. That's uh, our lesson for today. So, one, we've now learned about fractions from one half up to one six so that's all for today thank you